everyone. Welcome to another Whip and Chat. My name is Bree, and welcome to my channel. Um, I don't know why I am so strange sometimes. Um, I'm going to, if this looks familiar, like maybe I had just left off on the same spot the last Whip and Chat, it's probably because I did. <laughs> Um, I didn't get much d accomplished. I didn't do a lot of diamond painting from the last time. But let me um, peel back this film, put my trash minder here, and let's get started. I have a few things to talk about. Um, if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Bree. I make um, videos on diamond painting. Um, I do some unboxings, not too many, mostly because I don't have a big space that I can show large paintings. Um, I share um, my planner, I chit chat, I go live, um, whipping chats, you know, just all kinds of things. Um, and then, yeah, if you like what you hear or see, please consider subscribing. I would very much appreciate it and I would love to have you part of um, the community here. Oh, I also go live on Tuesday nights. So if you're watching this video, it is past Tuesday probably, but Tuesday nights I do go live. Um, you know, usually every Tuesday I go live um, for the most part. Um, today, let me see if I can find my sticker. I can't. I will put a photo in the corner, like right, I'm so bad at, right up here. I'll put a sticker, or not a sticker. What am I talking about? A photo of the image that I'm working on. It's called Earth Spirit by Raven Phelan. I hope I'm saying it right. I don't know for sure. Um, I very much am enjoying working on this kit. Um, it's not very big. It's a round. It's like a perfect size, really, for feeling accomplished. And the sparkle in this kit is just amazing. So, okay. I'm going to talk about the accessories that I'm using um, first, and then I'm going to pick a color. So, first things first, I always go, I always tell you about my um, cover minder slash trash minder dual purpose here it is from and i'm sorry that it's a little bit dark i have a slight headache um typical for me but this is a trash minder slash cover minder it's from lexi sparkles and it's kind of hard to see because it's so glittery but it's a star shaped and it has like a, it's a star with another star inside and it has a magnet on the other side I'm not going to flip it over because it does have drills inside of here um, and it holds back the one piece of film and then I can just put the trash drills in there and then I do have a tray that's holding onto like my tweezers my pen and sometimes my like funnel if I'm using one but my tray is also from Lexi Sparkles I am loving this tray so much it is so so sparkly and pretty I absolutely love it um, if you are interested in picking up a tray for yourself from my friend Lexi I will have her shop link down below um, please use my code. It is pities15. I will leave it right here in the tray, pities15. <laughs> um, it will get 15% off of your order and um, it will let Lexi know that you heard about um, the trays from me. Um, and yeah. Um, I don't get any kind of commission or anything from Lexi for you. It's just, it's just a discount code for you to use. And it just lets her know that you heard from me. <laughs> um, and, um, she has a code for you to use for my shop. So <laughs> we're just, we're like, we're like besties. So 
we just kind of help each other out, you know? Um, so second is my pen that I'm going to be using. It's from Butterfly Effect Wears. It's this beautiful pinkish purplish pen. It has a rainbow multi-placer. It is an eight placer and a stainless steel um, single placer on the other end. I am using cat proof diamond trays for my trays. <laughs> um, oh, there's a drill in there too. Um, I love their trays so much. Um, I use the lean boy, which is this size, and then the kitten, the smaller one for smaller pieces like this section right here. I'm not going to need a lot of drills, so I'll opt to use the smaller one. And I kind of just, when I'm done diamond painting, I kind of just stack them together and leave them in my, like this. <laughs> and then the putty that I'm using is from my shop. It is in the scent Banana Nut Bread. I am loving this scent right now. Um, and you can find a link to all of these shops in the description down below. Um, don't forget to check out Lexi and use my code PITTIES15 to save 15% off your order. If you go to my shop, paintingwithpitties.com, you can also use um, PITTIESYT for 15% off, and it is exclusive for my um, YouTube subscribers. Okay, so now that we have... Um, accessories out of the way. I also am using these purple tweezers just occasionally. So we have accessories out of the way. Let's get started on a color. Let's start with that middle color P. If you hear the dogs barking, um, if you're not new, you know I have three dogs. Um, if you are new, Hi, I have three dogs. <laughs> they are all pitties. Um, and also, I'm filming pretty late today. I did go to work this morning and got home this afternoon, later this afternoon. So I'm filming my whip and chat a little bit later than I normally would. Um, and they know that m my wife is due home like very soon within the next like 40 minutes or so so they are just like waiting for her to get home so if you hear any barking or crazy shenanigans going on I do have the door closed but they are quite loud sometimes I do apologize in advance but you know dogs are dogs and they just sometimes they bark <laughs> I will do my best to um, edit any like super loud noises because I know that can be kind of annoying um, I know when I'm watching a video and like a, a cat meows or another dog barks or something my dogs are like what was that I heard something <laughs> so I know that can set other people's pets off um, so I do apologize and I do like try to warn you but I'll try to edit it out if I can um but yeah let's get started oh gosh how did I just dump those drills right onto my canvas if that color needed to be right there it placed itself perfectly but it didn't <laughs> Okay, I can't talk and pick a color out at the same at the same time, so I have to focus on what color I need, which is this color. And if there are any like um, jump cuts or anything, I also apologize for that. I am like, I don't know, I'm just all of a sudden like coughing um I don't know so I apologize um let me look at my list I made a list of what I wanted to talk about today so the first thing I wrote down is that on Monday I did have my um six week checkup 
let me adjust my microphone so I can sit over a little bit more. Um, I did have my six week checkup on Monday and I'm going to start with like the frustrating news first because <laughs> I like to leave my whipping chats on a positive note, <laughs> not frustrating. Um, so anyways, I had my six week checkup with my surgeon on Monday and I was very much looking forward to it because I was going to get, of course, an update and see like what to look forward to next. Um, if you don't know, um, six weeks ago I did have knee surgery. The cliff notes of it is basically my knee was broken and not broken like split in half or anything it was like the cartilage was so worn down um that like parts of the bone were starting to break off and start getting like caught in between the joint and it was catching and causing me to fall and stuff so um so that's like the short version of like what was happening and I ended up having surgery surgery six weeks ago um, to repair it um, and my knee has been feeling better um, recently the thing is, is I went to in the middle of my six week recovery um, three weeks in I decided me, my wife, whatever, made the decision um, to go back to work. Like, I don't want to place all the blame on my wife. She did encourage me to go back to work. I didn't want to use all of my PTO. So I knew in my gut that I wasn't ready to go back to work. Um, so I went back to work and um, and this was like three weeks after my surgery and my leg ended up getting very swollen. Um, called my doctor. They said, well, his PA, his the physician assistant said, don't go back to work. We'll write you a note. Stay home for another three weeks, um, no weight bearing, um, continue physical therapy, and that was it. But basically they just said no weight bearing, but continue physical therapy. And there was no other instruction other than that. So that's what I did. Um, continued physical therapy and I did no weight bearing. Went to my appointment on Monday and talked to the surgeon and he, I told him, he was like, why are you wearing, where, why are you wearing this knee brace? You shouldn't be wearing this anymore. And I was like, nobody told me that I shouldn't be wearing the knee brace. And, um, he, and then he also said, and then he was like, yeah, and you shouldn't be using crutches. And I was like, I can't walk without crutches. Like I can't, I can't, <laughs> like I can't walk without crutches. I try to walk without crutches. There's no way, like my leg is not strong enough without the crutches. Um, and he's like, oh. And I think he took it as like, what is physical therapy? What are, what are those people doing? Like what, they're just babying you or whatever. Like he didn't say those words, but I think he thought that physical therapy is not doing what they're supposed to be doing. And what really was going on was his physical ther or his PA said, no weight bearing and 
physical therapy, the, the therapist, they know that I have fibromyalgia and, um, you know, they said, okay, they instructed no weight bearing. So I think they took that very seriously. They didn't want to send me into a fibro flare and they were just, I was telling them like during my, during my exercises, I would tell them like, I'm trying to do this exercise and it is very painful to do this one certain exercise. And it wasn't even like at the very beginning of like one of my, my sessions or anything. I was like towards the end of my session and I would say like, I'm trying to do this and it is very painful. And they would tell me, okay, let's, let's stop for today or whatever. There's no, there was never like we're just going to do the bare minimum. There was never any of that. I think, and I'm not blaming like my therapist, my physical therapist at all. Um, I really, I very much like my physical therapist, the one that I'm seeing. So my doctor, he's like, we need to get you walking. And I was like, yeah, I want to walk too, but I don't want to do it like you know, so fast that, I don't know, I don't want my doctor to blame the physical therapist when, and I'm not trying to place blame on any one particular person. I think that there is just some miscommunication and, <clears throat> and, um, it wasn't like laid out properly maybe I mean from the very beginning they were telling me like I couldn't drive because my knee is on my right knee and I wasn't supposed to put any weight like I wasn't supposed to push on it I wasn't supposed to do anything so they're telling me not to drive um, so I was having my wife take me places like my my wife was like getting out of work early to take me to my therapy to, you know, it was just a little bit frustrating. So like leaving my doctor's appointment was kind of just, I don't know, I just kind of broke down in the car with my wife and I was like, so this whole time, like I should be kind of walking on my own and I don't know. So I'll get to the point where I'll be walking again eventually, but I guess the point of it is, is basically I'm four weeks behind is what my doctor was making it sound like. Cause he said that I should be on the, the stationary bike and I should have been on that for the past four weeks and I told him I only just started it two weeks ago <laughs> so I don't know and you know what I'm okay with being a little bit behind because the way that my body is I know my body better than anybody else does and the way I respond to healing is always a lot longer than anything, anybody else, it seems like. If I get a cold compared to somebody else getting a cold, I feel like it always takes me longer to recover from that cold than an average person. So... It is what it is. Um, I know some people don't like that saying. I'm fine with that saying. I think that saying makes a lot of sense it, because it is what it is, you know? So. Um, there's the barking. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm sorry if that little rant about my doctor's appointment was a little bit confusing. <laughs> Basically, I was, I went in there very hopeful and then I left kind of like, 
I don't know, feeling a little defeated, but whatever. Uh, so, um, other news, um, the new shop, which is now on its own standalone website, pity or painting with pities.com. The transition went really well. Um, if you have, um, shopped at the new website, I thank you so much. Thank you for checking out the new shop. Um, if you have looked and you don't see anything yet, um, everything, everything that I have made so far is listed on there. Um, and it may say that it's sold out. I am going to start, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to start focusing instead of bringing brand new scents out every single week. Um, I'm going to try to focus on, uh, restocking scents, um, especially ones that sold out right away. If there is a scent that you are interested in that you want to have restocked sooner than later, um, let me know down in the comments below. Um, because I'm going to be working on restocking what is already available um, or like what I have um, so that I can keep an actual stock of putty that way um, that way you guys can like if you have a favorite you're like you know what I need more of that one. I need to go get some. Um, that way it's not just like a one and done type of thing. And then if I ever come into like a scent that is just like, you know what, people just really did not like that scent at all, then it will be retired or something. Um... I was really surprised um, that movie night didn't do so well because it smells exactly like buttered popcorn, like going to the movies. Maybe it would make you too hungry. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm working on restocking the already existing scents just let me know if there is a scent that you are waiting for um, I'm not sure if you have noticed or not I um, started um, channel membership if you haven't noticed, um, if you look right below the screen, you'll notice where it says, there's like a button that says join. If you clicked on that, well, if you did it right now, it would stop this video and it would play um, like a very short video that's like only 30 seconds and it would say like, welcome future channel member. Um, so I opened channel membership and I have been thinking about it for a couple of months. Hold on. I need to get a, I need to get a drink of water. Sorry. Um, I had been thinking about doing it for a little bit. Um, like the, I was outweighing the pros and cons of like doing this or Patreon. Um, and you know, I was talking to Lexi about it and Patreon is, um, a good option. I know they, <clears throat> as far as percentage wise, they do take a less percentage from the creator, 
on Patreon and so that the creator can you use more of that funds but in the long term long term of it is I just didn't want another like another thing to keep track of and I wanted to keep everything all together um, YouTube does keep a larger percentage of the funds um, and um, it's not just about that but I did want to start channel membership because I wanted to just add another thing to the channel that could be a new fun element for you the viewer um, I want to start doing vlogs again that are a peek into like my personal life other things besides just diamond painting um, you know take you places and stuff like that also member only lives um, member only polls um, let's see what else did I get on there a discount a special um, extra discount to channel members so I know for my YouTube subscribers I'm giving you all 15% to the shop but if you're a channel member you're gonna be getting an additional um, discount to the to the shop as well um, oh, what was that piece of plastic that is not to be um, shared with anybody else I would hope <laughs> um, but also what else would that the um, channel membership it's also a great way to support the channel as well because in turn what does that money go towards for me it allows me to bring more things to the channel it allows me to um, continue with happy mail and possibly bring happy mail to more than just one person per week maybe I can do um, two people per week or maybe I can do an extra thing in the happy mail or maybe I can do more giveaways or maybe I can do a new shop like um, a new small shop highlight um, and stuff like that so there's all kinds of things um, I would just if you're able to um, I made it I made it three tiers so um, they're called tier one is kitties tier two is pities and tier three is kitties and pities um, all three tiers offer the same exact rewards it just comes down to what you're comfortable with giving um, but all three tiers they do offer the same exact rewards um, and I made them all in my opinion I, I made them all um, pretty um, affordable the lowest tier is a dollar but the thing that I'm like really looking forward to with channel membership are member only lives and um, stuff like that and I can't wait I already have some people that joined and if you are one of those people I I thank you so much um, and I don't know when the very first like um, member live is going to be just yet but um, give me some time and I will come out with a schedule but I am working on like the member the member only videos I'm already working on those or at least the first one I am <laughs> so at least you have 
the extra video to look forward to. Um, yeah. I'm really excited about it. So I hope other people are excited about it too. Oh, you want to know something else that's really exciting? I'm going to the Taylor Swift concert in in like a month and a half. I'm so excited. I am so excited. I haven't been to a concert in, oh gosh, years. I just hope I can walk by that. <laughs> I really hope I can walk by then. I, there, I should be able to walk by that. <laughs> I feel like I'm all over the place with these drills. Usually I paint in like a line, but I'm kind of like, whoop, 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 whoop. Um, what else do I have? So I ordered, if you know, um, I did a three month no buy from January 1st to the end of March. So three months. My very first order was, well, I made two orders, like back to back, not with the same company, but I made two orders. Um, the first one was with DIY Moon Shop, and I was very excited about it, and I recently got that order, and I posted the video um, yesterday, which is actually two days ago now, so Monday. Um, my initial reaction to one of the kits was not, was not so great. <laughs> um, if you want to see the video, I will, I'll link it up in the cards up here. Um, but but it just came out a couple days ago so you may have seen it um, but yeah my my initial reaction was not great um, and apparently uh, so I was not very happy um, I when did I film that video I think I filmed it I got that video, or I filmed that video on the 17th, I think? Yes. So last Wednesday, a week ago. And so I filmed it. That's So that's when I was like, you know, initially uh, displeased. <laughs> and I took it. I emailed them yesterday so a week later I emailed them like I don't typically email companies about about things um, I'm not the type of person to be like I said for my mashed potatoes and my peas to not touch send it back I'm not that type of person <laughs> um, so I kept thinking about it and I'm just like, you know what? I paid money for this and I'm upset and I was really looking forward to it. And, you know, and then seeing the comments that I was getting on that, on that video, 
um, you know, people were agreeing with me and people that were getting their, uh, I'm getting flustered. People that were getting their kits, their recent orders, and they were also getting, um, you know, disappointing. They were also disappointed. I'm so sorry that I sound so off today. I just want to pre like say that now, I guess, in the middle of this video, like I'm not feeling the greatest. Um, but I did want to film my video today instead of the day that it comes out. So forgive me when I don't feel very good mixed with fibromyalgia. It makes my brain very, very, very foggy. Again, sorry for the barking. So please bear with me. Um, I have fibromyalgia and I don't feel good. So I'm having like a fibro foggy brain. <laughs> Um, and I know that can be frustrating as a viewer, so, um, so as I was list reading these comments on my video, I was just like, this isn't okay. I got, I did get the, I did get these kits for you know, a discounted price. And I'm thinking maybe this is why they have to put these coupon codes out there is because their, their quality isn't up to standards anymore. I don't know. These are my opinions, by the way. I can't speak for everybody. I can only speak for myself. So, um, I did email them, um, and so I emailed them yesterday, and I woke up this morning to a, a response back, and it wasn't just a response saying, oh, we're so sorry for your disappointment. It was a lengthy email back with some attachments. Um, in my email to them, it basically said, um, you know, I'm, I'm a first time customer and I'm pretty disappointed. Uh, I noticed that I did order a smaller, the smaller of the two options of this particular kit. Um, and I am, <laughs> I'm not happy about how it looks and I'm going to be completely honest. I was like, your kit, the, the kit that I'm talking about in particular, I was like, it looks so pixelated that it looks like I bought it from a budget kit or a budget company. I am very disappointed as I had heard good things about your company previously and until recently. <laughs> um, they replied with a screenshot that I am able to tell them that I don't want a toolkit. And I'm like, okay, well, that's not the main focus of my email. I did say that in my video though, but I did leave them a link to my video. I did tell them, you know, I have a YouTube channel and I did post a video and I did put my honest opinion in my video. So they watched it um, and they basically said like at the time of your purchase we didn't have a rendering for you to see and 
I looked at the rendering that they sent me and even the rendering for the smaller kit doesn't look as bad as the physical item that I received. And I looked at it for a while and I was like, I don't think that the rendering, it doesn't look as bad as what I actually received. And then they, f the end of the conversation, I haven't responded to this email, by the way. The end of the conversation is, we want our customers to be satisfied. What would you like us to do? And I don't know how to respond because to me, um, if I were that business owner, or I guess I can put myself in this in this position, if somebody reached out to me and said that, hey, I I am a first time customer and I don't I bought this putty and this and I didn't like it. I expected this and I received this. If I responded to them like I want you to be satisfied, what would you like? I wouldn't I would never do that to any of my customers. I would never say that to any of my customers. I would try to I don't know. I would just never expect my customer to come up with their own solution. <laughs> so that maybe I'm reading into it in a negative way because I'm the one that's like having the issue. But at the same point, I feel like maybe you should offer different options so that the customer can pick what seems like a fair a fair deal if that's the right wording that I'm trying to come up with I don't know am I being too much <laughs> I don't know like give me a couple of options so I can say like tell me like say like oh we can we can give you the the bigger kit. We'll replace it. Do whatever you want with the one that you have now. We can't take it back. Um, and we'll send you the larger image. Or refund me. Or give me a credit towards something else in the shop. Like, give me those options. Don't make me tell you how to run your business. That's just my opinion. But <laughs> that's what I would do if I were a business owner in that situation. Does that seem fair to anyone else or... Am I being too much? I don't know. Because that's, I think that's what I would do if somebody came to me with an op, like if somebody came to me and said like, I bought this putty, I had this ex expectation, I don't like it, I think it smells terrible, it came ruined or whatever. I would reach back out to them and I would give options. I would never say like, I'm so sorry, or I wouldn't say like, what do you want? <laughs> That's just me though. I, I do understand that they are in a different country as well. So it could very much well be, this is how we run things here and that's that's standard for us here and it might not be standard for them I try to be open-minded and as long as I'm trying to be open-minded that's as much as I can do right right 
<laughs> okay, so let me just hold on a second. I'm so sorry about all the barking. It's getting really close to, yeah, it's after four. So it's getting really close to time. So I'm probably going to wrap this up. Um, let me think really quick. can't think of a word off the top of my head. Let's do the word um, membership because I launched my channel membership and um, if you have any questions about it or if you joined or if you're thinking about joining um, for Happy Mail, that's what we're doing. <laughs> if you don't know what Happy Mail is, um, I do Happy Mail once a week during my whip and chat. So there is a Google form in the description down below. You, It takes you to a Google form where you fill it out. Um, I do not sell your information. Your information is safe with me. I only use it for the purpose of this little project of happy mail where I just pick one person once a week to send happy mail to and if you all you have to do is leave a comment down in the descript or in the comment section um, of this whip and chat um, with the word that I tell you at the end of the video which today is going to be or this week it's going to be membership for channel membership um, and if you get picked then I send you happy mail you just have to make sure that your address is um, current and complete and um, I will always let you know if you get picked and you'll get something in the mail from me um, but yeah so this week the word is membership and I will um, be right back in just a second to pick the happy mail winner from last week's whip and chat which took three days to upload for some reason <laughs> so the whip and chat w was supposed to go up on Wednesday and it actually didn't go up until Saturday and thank you all for bearing with me I don't know what happened but you know technology and I just don't get along sometimes as you all know. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for spending the last 45, 50 minutes with me um, hanging out and listening to how my week has been so far. I hope you have a great week and I will talk to you next time. Don't go anywhere yet. We have to still pick a Happy Mail recipient after this, but then right after that, then you can go and have a great week. So I will talk to you later. Okay. Okay. We have 14 comments. The code word was new beginnings. So I'm going to push start. Heather, the diamond painting bookworm, so happy for your new beginnings with your website. I haven't made a purchase yet, but will soon. All right, Heather, thank you for your comment, and I will be sending you some heavy mail.